heart attack. Uh, the Late Show continues because we have, uh, for Lassie fans out there, um, a guest who was the original star of that show. He played the original Jeff Miller. And now it's been, uh, well, I don't know, I can't even count how many uh, years it's been later. There they are. Here's what he looks like today, Tom Reddick. Yeah, see, they're all, Lassie, Lassie. They see that, that we all grew up with that. So right, that, right. Oh. I, I can't do it in that voice anymore. So my voice has changed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everywhere you go, this must happen, though, when people say, are you Tommy, are you Tommy Reddick? Is it doesn't happen as much anymore, thank goodness. It, it was one of the things I really did not like about performing, uh -huh. um, which is why I went into writing. I've always envied the writer because he got acknowledged for his work and yet could go out and have a private dinner and, and yeah. uh, not get bugged in the restaurant. Did it bother you? Now, I know that you started. Didn't you start on the show when you were about four or five years old? What was that? No, 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 no. Um, Lassie came when I was 11, but oh, okay. I, had, I had been working since I was five. Uh, the first thing was Annie Get Your Gun with Mary Martin. It was a road show on tour for two years. And I got to spend the ages of five to seven living out of a train and traveling around and uh, getting private schooling. It, yeah, it was wonderful yeah. education. Okay, but then when Lassie hit, uh, this was a big show. I mean, this is... This is uh, well, I had, done, I had done several movies before Lassie. Yeah. I, I mean, Lassie was a big show, and it got me very well known. But uh, you, you, you know TV. It was, Lassie was hit your marks and read your lines. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't appealing to me. I, I had done uh, 18 movies, one of them directed by Otto Preminger uh, called River of No Return that starred Bob Mitchum and Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Some people in your audience showing their age. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, how many lassies were there? There were three lassies at the time I was on the show, mm -hmm. just like any actor. There was the, uh, the star, mm -hmm. the dog that you saw all the time. There was a stand-in, and there was a double. And the double <laughs> always had some scars and cuts, and that was the dog. Oh, yeah, that, the stunt doubles. Sure. Right, right. That was the dog you saw jumping off the moving truck and through the glass windows and, and oh, so boy, on. That, they wouldn't use the star for that. That lassie must not have been a very happy lassie. Bum, bumming, or bumming around, <laughs> complaining on the set. I'm getting beat up in here. I don't I never get the credit I deserve. His name was Pal, and, and he, <laughs> had a, <laughs> he had a stunt man's disposition, or a stunt dog's disposition, I hmm. guess. He was great. Now, we, there's also a rumor that Lassie was, in, was a boy. Is that right? That's true. Okay, so That's Lassie true. was a boy. Yes. See, all these Hollywood, just things crumble right around you. Well, there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you take a female dog in the summer and in the winter, they look like two different animals. Whereas a male dog, you can go, they don't lose their, their uh, coat as much, and you can go back and do pickup shots and, mm -hmm. and things like that. Oh, boy. I, I want to show a clip from, uh, from the show. This is kind of how, how most of us remember you. Um, I imagine uh, Lassie's going to rescue somebody here. That was usually the yeah. <laughs> Now look what you did. What did I do? You made her cry. Don't cry, Janie. We'll get you another dolly. We'll even get you two more dollies. See? Lassie's kissing you. I see what you mean. There's just a little thing. See? Lassie's kissing you. That, mm -hmm. was, that, was, your, that was your part for that. Um, actor days got over. I know you left when you were about 15 or so uh, from the series. Yes, yes. The series was over with at 15. I had worked for 10 years. I didn't want to work anymore. I wanted to, to go to high school, and, and I was discovering cars and girls and fun. Yeah. And uh, then I tried to go back to it in my mid-20s, and suddenly I wasn't the cute little kid on Lassie anymore, and, and, uh, but I had that image. And they were doing beach party movies and, and um, juvenile delinquent things with yeah. James Dean, and nobody would cast me in any of those. And, and um, the, the career uh, just kind of waned. And I had, I had spent most of my childhood looking around and looking at the adult actors and, and seeing how they lived their lives and going, I don't know that I want to continue this yeah. through my adulthood. But, you know, you made some good friends, too, on the lot, I know. That, that Fury was, was also shot on this on this uh, Right here. At, at, this used to be KTTV. And wasn't there a good friend of yours, Bobby Diamond, that you used to kind of hang out with? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, he shot Probably looks a lot like... Oh, <laughs> this is Bobby Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! 
<laughs> this is a real surprise. Too. Uh, this, I, yeah, this, this, I mean, we didn't uh, we didn't tell Tommy that he was going to be out here. Bobby Diamond, of course, you know, recognized from the show Fury, and they worked and played together here on the lot. Both of us same age. And, yeah, it was on this lot. Yeah, it was on this lot. Yeah, right. yeah. He so, needs a haircut, doesn't he? <laughs> well, Always we have. we should say what you guys are doing right oh, now. Oh, thank you. Uh, and uh, this is a book uh, that you're into computers now. Yes, I write software and I write computer books, and this mm -hmm. is my latest book published by Addison Wesley, and um, I'm just really thrilled about it. Thank yeah. you for showing. Yeah, me. I wanted him to know that you're you're into computers, which is a whole different thing. Now it we makes have for great reading, doesn't it? It makes for very <laughs> fascinating <laughs> bedtime stories. Right. Yeah, that's what this is. That is Stephen King. <laughs> well, well, since you're here, what are you what are you doing now? I've been fighting for law, order, in the American way. I, I'm an attorney. <laughs> Are you really? A, a law firm called Diamond and Chandra. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this audience seems to be made up of my clients. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, I've won all of your cases, right? <laughs> but you heard, you heard Tom talk about this. Is that a similar story for you uh, with uh, acting and uh, as a youngster? Well, and then... the, the truth is they don't hire us because we're short. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be honest about it. <laughs> no. Oh, I, I kept acting all the way through law school, and I kept acting while I was in uh, college. Matter of fact, I did a bunch of Lassies. By the time I finally did a Lassie, he wasn't there anymore. Oh, he wasn't there yeah. anymore. Right. Every time I did a Lassie, it was with a different lead. They had a... When they had a little boy, then they had a, a ranger, and then they... I don't want to say that they you were... Don't they, say. They, they were... They were cheap on Lassie, but when they... <laughs> when I had... When they... My character had to fall into a 12-foot hole <clears throat> through a breakaway bunch of mats, they made me do it. Oh, so there wasn't... There, there <laughs> yeah. was no stunt Then I said, Bobby. would you mind... I said, it's only a couple feet. I said, well... Could you undo the hole so I could look in? I said, no, no. I said, yeah, I hate to fall into something if I've never even seen what the bottom is. And they lifted it up, and it was they had to lower a ladder down to get me out. But oh. That's why they hired me, because I could fall into the hole. That's a nice talent to my, have. <laughs> I'm a hole faller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's nice having you guys here. Thanks, Bobby, for being here. Tom, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Old home week. Folks, we come back. Phoebe Legere will join us, so don't go away, please.